I was always an armchair environmentalist, like I said. Uh, it's important to me. I uh, always knew it would be something I'd be deeply involved in. But tr uh, 12 years ago, two businessmen came in my office. I was retired and said, you're the only green businessman we can find to join our effort. And I said, I'm not a businessman anymore. Uh, uh, two fellows, two business people in Dallas, the Container Store and the Hotel.com, and we formed Texas Business for Clean Air to oppose the uh, fast track approval that was sought by TXU to build 11 more coal-fired plants. And that was pretty patently, obviously unnecessary. So. Uh, we achieved a first, the first time the word business and the first time the word clean were ever together in the state of Texas. <laughs> and we actually won the battle. Well, uh, it was an, an obvious thing, and it was an idea that we could do from scratch. Uh, Earth days don't really uh, occur in any big ways actually it's kind of a name in tech in Dallas it was a very small thing run by the city we thought that was just because we were in Dallas turns out uh, the, the, the secret is we didn't do our homework we were bodacious and when we had our first event in just a very few months with 40,000 people and 200 groups exhibiting mainly environmental groups and learned that was by far the biggest public gathering of serious environmental-ism, uh, whether it's Earth Day or any time during the year, that really galvanized us. And partly because we thought it was just damn wrong that this kind of thing is not happening. We should have well over 200,000 people, and uh, it's mostly from the uh, uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas area. Uh, probably uh, 5,000 people from coast to coast uh, as speakers and environmental leaders and corporate leaders and politicians. 40 documentary films full length only on ecology. Uh, I reckon 70 uh, virtual reality and augmented reality film. Hackathon with hundreds of, pe of uh, younger people and uh, a, a, a thousand when you consider the simulcast around the world we have on Hackathon conferences over a dozen that would have bring a, a few thousand professionals and scientists and foundations and so forth six senators ten congressmen uh, secretary of interior secretary of energy robert redford and his wife with a beautiful production a, a, a visual a film And I do have people every now and then, full grown up businessmen come to me in Dallas and say that they had an epiphany when they went to this event and they have changed their lives. That's pretty, pretty amazing. But more comes out, out of it. We have the eCapital Summit with, uh, I'll say 65 innovators with new uh, clean tech, blue tech, uh, ocean tech uh, startups and a similar number of investors and uh, venture capitalists. And throughout the year, I would, I would uh, uh, predict that there'd be $20 million invested in these startups. So this is a real life thing. This is not a concert. This is not a street party. We're serious. The biggest challenge in environmentalism today, in conservationism, is that it is polarized and paralyzed because of the issue of climate change. There are so many problems with environment, uh, uh, the species, the extreme weather over these this, this decade, the disagreement on that issue has, excuse me, uh, conservative people, but it's caused the, the skeptics to eschew many other environmental issues. So since I'm a climate skeptic, I'm not gonna recycle. Uh, the other issues have been forgotten. This year, our Earth Day, April 22, 2020, is the 50th anniversary of, of 1970 when it first happened. And uh, it's important to us because it will uh, uh, 
It would be more meaningful to many people who would not come otherwise. Uh, even uh, youth uh, have their curiosity peaked. Uh, we'll have more people from coast to coast coming, uh, not only in uh, Earth X in, in Dallas, but across the nation there will be more meaningful gatherings. Uh, and it, it, will, it will be two things. It will be a retrospective. Uh, what have we done and not done to ourselves and where do we go?